हेलो स्टूडेंट्स टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अबाउट द टॉपिक बेसिक इल्यूमिनेशन मॉडल्स डिफ्यूज रिफ्लेक्शन फॉर्म स्पेक्यूलर रिफ्लेक्शन मॉडल लेट्स सी द इंट्रोडक्शन फर्स्ट वी हैव टू अंडरस्टैंड व्हाट द इल्यूमिनेशन इज so illumination is nothing but the interaction between the light source and the object surface means whenever the light falls on the object surface we will call it as a illumination so for that different illumination models we have to study in this chapter so illumination model is also known as a shading model or a lighting model these models are very simple and fast for calculating the intensity of light for various reflection so as we know whenever the light whether a normal light or a sunlight falls on any surface it gets reflected in certain direction so depending on that this illumination models are categorized so it is basically depend on the three main component that is ambient illumination diffuse reflection and specular reflection let's see it one by one first is the ambient illumination it is the one where the light source is indirect this ambient light is nothing but a background light a simple way to model the combination of light reflection from various surfaces to produce uniform illumination is called ambient light or a background light this light does not appear to come from any particular direction rather it appears to fall from all the directions so as we have seen in this figure there is a object surface and the ambient light is coming from certain direction and it falls on the object surface as soon as it falls on the object surface it got reflected in all directions as we have seen in this figure so this is the ambient illumination so it is depend on the viewer's position and object's position so it is independent of viewer's position and object's position but it dependent on a constant factor that is the rgb values that is red glare blue channel okay now the reflected intensity of light for any point on the surface we will call it as a i a m b which is equal to k a into i a whereas k is the surface ambient reflectivity and the value of k varies between 0 and 1 and i a is the ambient light intensity for example we will consider suppose we are stand, standing on a road facing to a building and the building is having the glass exterior when the sun rays falls on that building it will get reflected back and fall on the object which is which we saw in front or which is under our observation so this is nothing but the the light is reflected so this is nothing but the ambient illumination second is the diffuse reflection when some intensity of light is falls on the object surface that surface reflects light in all direction in equal amount and then resulting reflection is called as a diffuse reflection so whenever the light falls it scattered all around in equal in equal amount so that is a diffuse reflection it is an illumination that a surface receives from a light source that reflects equally in all the direction now it is independent of viewer's position but it depends upon the position of light and the position of the object surface here the reflected intensity we can calculate with the help of kd into ip in bracket n into l so kd is nothing but the surface diffuse reflectivity its value varies from 0 to 1 ip is the light intensity n is the surface normal and l is the direction of the light so whenever the light falls from 
light or any sunlight so it falls on a certain surface and it will reflect in all direction equally okay as we have seen in the ambient illumination the light is coming from all the directions and it is scattered in all direction here light is coming from a specific direction and when it falls on the object surface it will scatter equally in all the direction so this is the difference third is the specular reflection when we look at an illuminated shiny surface such as polished metal we see a highlight or a bright spot at certain viewing directions this phenomenon is called a specular reflection means in that a light will fall on a shiny surface suppose for example metal or a mirror okay so when it falls from a certain thing when it falls on an object surface it will reflect in a particular direction okay so this is a specular reflection so it is not equally distributed in all directions okay so it is dependent on the light source position and the viewer's position so this is the specular reflection now as we have seen this is the diffuse reflection and this is the specular reflection okay if we put it together diffuse and specular reflection in an illumination model we will see such differences here in diffuse reflection and specular reflection then the last is the fong model now what the fong model is fong model is a combination of all the three components of illumination model that is a specular diffuse and ambient so let's see using highlights avoid surfaces that looks dull lifeless and boring one cool thing about highlights is that in addition to being all bright and shiny they change as the object moves in this way the highlights provide useful visual information about the shape and the motion and the simplest model of approximating surface highlights is the fong model and this model is proposed by the scientist bu tong fong that's why the name given as a fong model so in this fong model we think of the interaction between the light and the surface having three distinct components so which are the components which we have already used for the illumination model that is the ambient diffuse and specular if we combine this three that is the ambient diffuse and specular means a shiny surface if we combine all these three we will get the fong reflection so this is all about the illumination models thank you